All right, so welcome to the channel. My name is Dan and this is Viking Designs. All right, today we've got something a little bit different. It was my little man's second birthday uh, last weekend and I thought it'd be really cool if we could build him a bed. Now, you know, two-year-olds love hiding, cubby houses, and all that sort of stuff. So we did what everybody does when they're looking for a little bit of inspiration. We jumped onto Pinterest. Now, after searching for a little while, we found a really cool design that we liked. It's kind of shaped like a tent uh, with big cross braces. And yeah, we thought, we thought that'd be a really cool idea. That way we can like drape a sheet over it and make like a little cubby house for him. We, we like the ones that were sort of painted on the top. And we also have this little uh, side table that I think we bought from Kmart. And we're sort of using that as a little bit of inspiration as well because that sort of um, lives next to his bed. So let's start with the design of the bed. All right, so we're drawing the foot of the bed just here. Then we're gonna draw in the bed head, but these are actually identical. Then there are the two cross braces. We're just gonna clean this up a little bit. And then there's gonna be the top cross brace, which uh, holds it all together. Then we're gonna have the handrail and all the balustrades drawn in. All right, so let's color code all the different timber sizes so it's easy to calculate. So the orange timber is all the 70 by 70 millimeter posts. The blue timber is 70 by 45 millimeters. The 90 by 20 is all the handrails that are wrapping around the bed. And the 40 by 30 are the balustrades, the vertical balustrades. All right, so now we wanna calculate some measurements. So you've got a meter wide, two meters long, about 1.6 meters for the X and about 2 meters for the cross brace. You also want about 400 millimeters for each corner post. So, all the orange timber you got about 15 lineal meters, the blue you got about 2 lineal meters, the 90 by 20 you got about 5.5 lineal meters, and the 40 by 30 you got about 4 lineal meters. So, this is your shopping list that you take to your local hardware. Now for the tools that you will need. A miter saw is going to make your life a lot easier. You need a drill and a driver, some hand tools like chisels, things like that, uh, a sander and a palm router slash trimmer. Now the trimmer bit you want to pick up for this is a six millimeter round or a bevel trim router bit like the one shown. So I started with the bed head and the foot of the bed. I wanted to make both of those first. In order to do that, we needed to calculate the width that I wanted those to be. How wide do they want to be? Now, the mattress that we had was 920 millimeters wide. So I needed to calculate the width of the mattress plus 70 on the left and 70 on the right. That takes a total to 1,060 millimeters. So I knew that I needed to make the bed head and the foot of the bed 1,060 millimeters wide. So I then took this base here, I literally just laid this on the ground and I got my 70 by 70 millimeter timber. I sort of just laid it on top. I let it overhang just so I could get the angle. Once I got the angle right, I marked it here and I marked it here, then proceeded to chop it all with the miter saw, check it all out, um, glue it and screw it. Now everywhere where the bed was joined, and the timber was joined and I was applying screws. 
I was using 50 millimeter stainless steel torque screws and I was also using Gorilla Glue. So just to be sure, I basically stood one end of the bed up, went and grabbed the mattress, stood the other end of the bed up, sat the mattress in between, marked it, made sure it was right, then proceeded to cut it and fit these off to these side posts just here. Now, once I had the two bottom rails done, it was then time to fit the top handrail just here and then cut in all the balustrades. pretty much it for day one. This whole build, including going to the hardware store a couple times, took me about seven or eight hours. A few days later, I then took the bed back outside, trimmed it all the way around, sanded it with some 180 grit sandpaper, and then proceeded to finish it with Osmo Poly X, which is a really nice, high quality finish. It's safe to use around children and pets, and it offered a really nice finish for this pine timber, just the exact color that we were looking for. So we were super happy about that. Yeah, guys, that's basically it for the bed build. The hardest part of the whole build probably being the, uh, the X with the half lap joint. But if you can get that done, the rest of the build was super easy. And yeah, look, the little man loves it. He doesn't sleep in his cot anymore. He only wants to sleep in his big boy bed, so. You know, we got to class that one as a win. If you have any questions about the build, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.